Hello, and welcome to this special edition of C++ Weekly. This episode is going to be a tribute to Hubert Matthews, who I met only once at NDC Tech Town in Kongsberg, Norway, this year, in September of 2019. We were teaching classes at the same time, presented at the same conference, and spent a few moments chatting at the end of the last day. And uh, Hubert passed away just a few uh, short days after the one chance that I got to interact with him and meet him in Norway. And this episode of, going, of C++ Weekly is going to be about a feature of Compiler Explorer that I was not aware of that he showed me with great excitement. So I am going to demonstrate it for you here as best as I can to show you what uh, he found so exciting. So if we take Compiler Explorer, you may not be aware that it actually has this ability over here now to add Clang Tidy. And if we have Clang Tidy and we give it this, um, we want to enable all of the checks. I think that's dash dash checks that I need to do. And we come along and we've got a program that we're writing. And now we've got all of the checks turned on. So many of these things are going to be things that we don't necessarily care about. Like this, use trailing return type for this function. Personally, I don't like using trailing return types for main. But this is still a lot of fun. We have to admit that it is. So if we've got our clang tidy and we do dash fix dot dash dash fix dash fix um, then the compiler will automatically do these things as we type so it's going to automatically run clang tidy with the fix its in the background just as compiler explorer does for any other tool then automatically apply the fix it warnings for us and then um, automatically update the source code. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah. Let's try to get some of these warnings out of um, here. Uh, but, you know, lots of clang tidy things. Now, the thing that he showed me that was so exciting is, well, I mean, the modernized fixes that Clean Kidy can do really are pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see what kind of craziness it can do as we type and whether or not we can stay ahead of it. Because if I slow down typing for even a moment, it's going to start rewriting the code for me. I'm going to see if I can get the whole function out before Clean Tidy fixes it for me, and then we can watch it do the automatic fix. So I'm going to write a summation function which arguably should be done using the accumulate algorithm from the numeric header instead. But we're going to do it for fun. Ah, got ahead of me there. So I am doing a classic old school container iterator here. All right. And bam, automatically rewrote it into a modern range based for loop for us because it can, because Clang tidies, modernized checks are pretty darn good at that. Now all we need is to be able to add in a uh, Clang format tool here into Compiler Explorer, and we can use it as our general purpose automatically fixing, automatically writing IDE that we've always wanted. So uh, thank you, Hubert, um, 
for showing me this. It is not something that I was aware existed in Compiler Explorer. I know that you will be missed. So uh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.